good morning from the AT. <laughs> um, it is uh, day one of this little sh section hike that I'm doing. I don't know specifically how long I'll be out or where I'll end up. I'm just out for an undetermined length of time right now. Jordan dropped me off this morning um, at Pine Grove Furnace General Store, which is where I left off about two and a half weeks ago. Um, it is just after 11 a.m. So i um, got a late start, but it was a two hour drive from home. And I'm only doing about 10 miles today to Birch Run Shelter. Uh, I just ran into Pegasus, one of the OG cult members at the general store. Uh, he did the four state challenge on Friday and crushed it. Uh, he did it with Neon and Pinata and pretty much all the rest of the group was at Trail Days um, this past weekend and they're doing the four state challenge today. And from what I've seen on Instagram, they're crushing it as well. So I should be running into the rest of them. Uh, not today, but maybe tomorrow or Thursday, uh, which is exciting. It was good to see uh, Pegasus. He and I met on day two of my through hike. You may remember him. Uh, he and I camped together on top of, I uh, forgot what the mountain was, but if you saw my day two video, you know what I'm talking about. So it's good to see him catch up and chat, see how things are going, talk to him a bit about what's been up with me and my plans. Yeah, so it was good to catch up with him. Um, yeah, I was supposed to be out on trail two days ago, but Jordan ended up with COVID after we got back from Disney. So uh, I took some precautions and just stayed home for a little bit. We masked up inside the house together and slept in different rooms. And uh, I tested myself about three or four times and I've been negative so far and I have zero symptoms. So I decided to head back today. And uh, yeah, unfortunately Jordan got hit with it pretty bad. Uh, he had some pretty bad symptoms and is still struggling with them, but he's improving. And uh, yeah, we drove here today wearing masks and with all the windows down uh, just to be safe. And I'm gonna try to keep my distance from people on trail as much as possible. So um, that's that. I will check in with you in a little bit. Uh, I don't know if there's anything exciting today. I honestly haven't looked at the route much, so I'll see you later. I just sunk into my first deep <laughs> mud pit. At least it's a warm day. And uh, my feet being a little wet and cold isn't a bad thing. <laughs> All right, so I'm two and a half miles in for the day so far, and it's just about an hour that I've been out on trail, so I'm still making good time, um, despite having not hiked for, I don't know, two and a half weeks. I'm feeling okay so far, definitely just like low energy, and I think that's just because, um, I'm just like purposely trying to take this at a less like intense mindset, um, if that makes sense. Like I'm just out here trying to be like in a casual hike type mindset. Like I'll just walk till I don't feel like it anymore. Um, obviously I have like a goal of where I'd like to get to cause I only have so much food. But uh, 
yeah, my goal is to get to Birch Run and I'm kind of just like thinking, well, if I get there, cool. If I feel like stopping sooner, cool. Um, if I feel like going further, cool. I'm just kind of really trying to embrace more of a laid back mindset about the trail and about the section um, that I'm out doing uh, until I can kind of feel like I'm maybe back into a swing of things or um, get a better idea of what I want my ultimate goal to be. Uh, Jordan and I were talking a lot in the car on the ride down here uh, about like what I want out of this trip and what my goal is. And honestly, I think primarily, I just want to finish Pennsylvania. Um, after that, I know Harper's Ferry isn't too far, but once I'm done with Pennsylvania, I'll take a stock of how I'm feeling, how my body feels, uh, what I want, and uh, go from there. Maybe this is just a short little three to four day section hike. Uh, maybe it's longer. We will see. Um, but I'm not gonna stress about it. I'm not gonna stress about miles. Um, there's plenty of road crossings that I could always call a shuttle if I get in a bad position with food uh, supply. You know, if I end up taking longer to get to my next resupply point than planned. But yeah, just taking it easy. And I did forget, I actually go by the halfway point today. So um, while it's not halfway for me, obviously, um, it'll be cool to see still. So I'll probably check in with you guys there. Bye. All right, so here is one of the halfway point markers. Uh, I'm not sure what year this is for. I'm almost certain it's not 2022. Um, doesn't stay anywhere, but it's the one most people take their pictures near, I believe. So I'll see if there's any others up further. All right, so this is Tom's Run Shelter. Looks like a really nice shelter. I'm not gonna walk down there, but there's some nice tenting spots down there. Maybe a fire ring. Oh, there's even an Adirondack chair that I see. Um, and then up here on the right is a little pavilion. Uh, the privies down this trail. And it looks like there's some more tenting area up there. Uh, and there's supposedly a spring in this direction, which is where the AT continues. It also looks like there's an old furnace here as well which is pretty cool. A super nice tenting platform. All right, I am four and a quarter miles in and surprise, my excruciating upper back pain is back already. So this is a great start. <laughs> To this section hike. Yeah, I am pissed. I don't want to be dealing with this. I had hoped that two and a half weeks without carrying a pack would fix my back, but apparently this is just a chronic issue now at this point. So my pace has slowed considerably. I'm probably, I was doing about three miles an hour. Almost, I got to three miles at like an hour and seven minutes. Um, and now I'm barely probably moving two miles an hour. And to mention, I'm also on the biggest uphill part of my day. Uh, so that is slowing me down too. But yeah, as soon as I find a good spot to sit and rest and take this pack off, I'm gonna do that because maybe I just need to start doing that more often. I don't know, but we shall see. I have this feeling that once I finish PA, I'm probably just gonna wanna go home because 
yeah, these pains just don't make this fun. And I'd rather be having fun when I hike. So we'll see how the next few days go. But uh, I'm gonna put the phone away so I can slowly slog up this hill. See you later. So I'm here sitting um, at 7.2 miles in for the day, just taking a break with my pack off. Second break uh, since it started bothering me. I made it, I think, like a mile and a half before needing to take another break after my first one. So yeah, this isn't going well. <laughs> I've just been moving very slow. Um, I still have like, let's see. I can't do math, like a mile and three quarters, 1.75 miles um, to the shelter. I've got one more uphill um, up to Shippensburg Road and then it's all downhill. Um, I think like a mile and a half to the shelter. So um, I'm almost done with the uphill at least. But um, yeah, I'm just, I'm not even sure if this video is gonna make it to YouTube or not because I feel like every time I come out hiking, I'm just complaining <laughs> um, and start out in positive spirits and then end up being like, I hate this, I'm going home. But um, I was really hoping that doing less miles um, would be more enjoyable and would maybe keep me out on trail for a little bit longer, but yeah, I can't, I can't even go. Let's see, I think I made it five miles before my body started screaming at me, um, my upper back shoulder. So I do think that I really need to see a chiropractor or something. Um, don't know if I need a chiropractor or a massage or both, but I do think I need to do something about it because it's, it's not good that I can't even go five miles with a moderately heavy pack. Um, I should get to camp tonight before 4 p.m. I would assume it's like 2.15 right now. Um, so I'll have some time to just rest and relax and um, eat some food. And yeah, we'll see how I feel in the morning. I'll check in with you guys when I get either to camp or I feel like the official 2022 halfway point is coming up here soon. I saw a comment in Far Out at this water source coming up and I don't know if there's anything there like marking it. If there is, I'll show you. If not, I'll see you at camp. All right, so here is the official halfway point for 2022. It's near this little the seasonal water source on far out but it's still flowing decent today uh, we did get a lot of rain last night though so that could be why but I'm all set on water um, there's supposedly a spring at this shelter so uh, I'm not gonna fill up I still have a full liter uh, which will be great for cooking and drinking and then I'll probably just need to get some water in the morning but yeah we're at seven and three quarter miles so we have like i don't know two miles left something like that What's up everybody? I am in my tent at Birch Run Shelter. Uh, I'm here, there's a couple and then a, another person. So there are four of us here tonight. Um, I just hung out with them for the evening and chatted and um, had some dinner. And now I'm hanging out in my tent. Um, I didn't film anything around the shelter because there are people here when I got here already, but I'll try to film in the morning to show you guys 
this shelter. It's super nice. Um, it was also my first time using bear poles, um, which was not bad at all. It's pretty easy to use. So that will be it for today, and I will check in with you in the morning. Good night.